Today is the 30th of January 2022, the day that Windows Vista turns 15 years old. Today we will be going over the development cycle and history of Windows Vista, right after the intro. Let's get into it. Windows Vista's development was started in May 2001. Back then, its code name was Longhorn. It was meant to be a small stepping stone between Windows XP, Whistler, and Blackcomb, now known as Windows 7. It ended up getting lots of new features that were meant for Blackcomb. After lots of delays, the development was reset on the 27th of August 2004 so that Longhorn could be could use the Windows Server 2003 code base. The name Windows Vista was chosen in July 2005. The final release to manufacturing build, Build 6000, was compiled on the 8th of November 2006 and released to consumers on the 30th of January 2007. So what features did Windows Vista introduce? Windows Vista introduced the Aero Visual Style, Windows Search, Gadgets, and more. I couldn't get my hands on a copy of Windows Vista, but my first computer actually used Windows Vista. So why did Windows Vista get the criticism that it did? In 2007, most of the computers could not handle Windows Vista very well, and on the computers that did handle it well, there were driver issues and multiple bugs. Microsoft released two service packs, but the reputation had already been damaged. Windows 7 under the hood is pretty similar to Windows Vista, so why didn't Windows 7 get the same criticism? First of all, computers in 2009 were far more powerful than computers in 2007. Also, Windows 7 didn't have the bugs that Vista had when it was released and the drivers were more tailored to Windows Vista. So that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. Also, check out our other, also check out our other channels. They're great. Bye.